this is my Texas Walker system. It's a rope walking type system that's pretty useful for alpine style rigging and is almost as minimal amount of gear as a frog system. But because it incorporates both Texas and a rope walking system in one, it allows for highly efficient climbing of free hanging rope and it also allows for the maneuverability on any type of horrible technical rigging with the use of the Texas system. So with the Texas system, you have an upper ascender on a long cow's tail, adjusted so it's approximately you know, at face level. This is so it, you, it's always within reach. And you have a lower ascender on a, a shorter cow's tail, it's a, just over knee height. I've got a pull cord on mine to make it easy to, to progress it up. Some people use a bungee and some people have the ascender a little higher and just pull it up by hand. But I find this to be the best method and allows passing relays and things like that a little bit easier. I can also uh, stow the ascender by just clipping it and I have free use of my short cow's tail. To convert this system from Texas to a rope walking type system a panton, preferably one with a catch to lock it, is used along with a compact roller. So in climbing Texas, it's a basic sit stand system. It takes a bit of balance and a lot of practice to, to get good at, but overall it's the most maneuverable system, probably. It's a little bit more maneuverable than frogs since you don't have the, the rope isn't captured against you like with your chest ascender, but otherwise performs somewhat similarly. The biggest disadvantage though is it's, it's a bit hard to climb free hanging rope with. It takes balance as you can see, but it's great when your feet are against a wall. Another option is uh, two-footed Texas with your panton. It's great so you can you could potentially rope walk up with it when your feet are held against a wall. You can also do a two-footed sit-stand system with it, like so. Pretty good. But for maximum efficiency, on free-hanging ropes such as this, attach the chest roller also. And now you have a lot of speed. Texas is also about the fastest system to do a changeover with. It makes it easy to do a changeover even when you've got a long repeller rack and still maintaining two points of contact to the rope. descending in relation to like reblaze and stuff like that, I can stow my foot ascender and I have two free non-locking cow's tails for passing reblaze and also a third locking cow's tail with my ascender on it, useful for J-repels. Three cow's tails is also useful on traverses and uh, passing certain knots in some situations. Yep, there you have it, Texas Walker system.